How's it going, y'all? This is Eric Luis. So it finally happened. The battery of my Nissan GTR actually went out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bad boy so this way we can get it taken care of. So removing the battery is one of the most basic things you could do to a car, uh, besides an oil change and adding windshield washer fluid, for example. So I might as well do a DIY or do it yourself on how to change a battery for a GTR. It's really simple. It's pretty much just like changing a battery for another car, you know, whether it be a Chevy Camaro or a Mitsubishi Outlander or a Chevy Suburban or what have you. So let's get started. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop the hood. Of course, if you can find the latch, there it is. All right, open the hood. Find the stands, this way you can prop the hood. The hood, make sure that it's secure, so this way the hood doesn't drop on your face. And next thing you want to do is you want to locate where the battery is at. Now, if your car is right-hand drive, chances are it's on the left-hand side. Well, actually, if you're facing the car, it's on the right-hand side. But if you're on, if you're driving a left-hand drive car, then it'll be on the left-hand side. Usually, brake fluid and clutch fluid, depending on if your car is standard or not, is on the right side. And the battery is on the left hand side. So, braking clutch fluid on the right side, battery on the left hand side. Alright, remove the uh, casing there, and lo and behold, there's the battery. So, I need to swap that out. You'll definitely need a ratchet set to loosen both the negative and the positive terminals. This way, you can move the battery without any issues. All right, so now that the battery terminals are loosened, they are definitely removable. So next thing you have to do is you'll have to remove this actual panel. This way you can have more room and more easily remove the battery. All right, so I removed the panel and as you can tell, it's more easy and more accessible, the battery that is. And all you have to do is just loosen these two bolts and then we'll be good to go. There we go, folks. So I removed it. The battery, that is. Right there. And I'm gonna go to the zone. The auto zone. Just this battery from auto zone. And I'm about to head home and throw her in the GTR. So I just arrived with the new battery. I'm about to toss this in there. <laughs> All right, so I just bolted in the battery and I still have to connect the terminals and I will also add the panels, which will come after and I'll shoot video of that too. So battery is in. Now I just have to uh, reattach the panel and put all the uh, bolts in. Should be in good shape. There we go, panel is attached. Now I just have to throw on the cover or the battery, which uh, slides in. Alright, let's start it up. It's definitely a good sign when you're able to open the door. Alright, so put on the brake. Press the start button and voila! That, my friends, is how you change the battery of a GTR. 